Hello and welcome. To analyze a circuit using nodal analysis, we have to apply four steps. 1. Select a reference node, usually ground. 2. Define the remaining node voltages. 3. Apply Kirchhoff's current law or KCL at each node. And from this, we are going to obtain a system of equations. 4. Solve the linear system of equations. Example 1. Find the node voltages in the circuit shown. First of all, we need to define the reference node, which is the ground node. And then, we define the node voltages, V1 and V2. After that, we need to apply KCL to node 1 and node 2. Kirchhoff Current's Law, or KCL, states that the sum of currents entering a node equals the sum of the currents leaving the node. In other words, we can say the resultant of the currents entering the node minus the currents leaving the node is equal to zero. We can determine the direction of the currents whether they are entering the node or leaving the node from the sources available. So we can see that this current is entering the node V1. This current is leaving the node. This current is leaving. This current is also leaving. Now let's write the equations. So for V1 or node 1, we have this equation. This current is entering the node. The value of this current is I1. So we can see I1. The sign is plus, it's positive sign, because it's entering the node. This current is leaving the node, so we say minus. The value of this current is V1 minus 0, which is the voltage of the reference node, divided by R1. V1 minus 0 divided by R1. This current is also leaving the node, V1, so we say V1 minus V2 over R2. V1 minus V2 over R2. And the sign is minus again because the current is leaving the node. This current is also leaving the node, so V1 minus V2 over R3. V1 minus V2 over R3. And the sign is minus as well is equal to zero. Now let's talk about the second equation. This current now is entering the node V2. Therefore, we say V1 minus V2 over R2. V1 minus V2 over R2, and the sign is plus or positive because this current is entering the node. In the same way, V1 minus V2 over R3 is entering the node V2. So V1 minus V2 over R3. This current here in R4 is leaving the node. So we can say V2 minus 0 over R4. And the sign is minus because it's leaving the node V2. This current is also leaving the node, V2, so we write minus I2. So node 1 is the equation for this node, and node 2 is the equation for this node. We can rearrange the equations in this form, and by using these values given here, we get these two equations, and by solving the equations, we get the node voltages V1 and V2. Example 2. Find the node voltages in the circuit shown. Again, this is the reference node, the ground node. This is the first node, let's call it VA, and this is the second node, VB. 
This means that we need two equations, one for VA and one for VV. By applying KCL in VA and VB, we get the equations A and B. We can see that the current IA is entering the node VA, so we write IA. This current is leaving the node VA, so we say VA minus 0 over R1. VA minus 0, 0 is not written here, over R1, and the sign is minus because it's leaving the node. This current is also leaving the node, so we say VA minus VB over R2. VA minus VB over R2, and the sign is minus, is equal to 0. Similarly, in node B, this current is entering node B, so we say VA minus VB over R2, and the sign is plus. This current here, IB, is entering the node, so we write plus IB. This current is leaving the node, so we say VB minus 0 over R3. VB minus 0, 0 is not written, over R3. Again, this current is leaving the node, so we say VB minus 0 over R4. VB over R4 is equal to 0. Again, we can rearrange the equations and put the values that are already given. We get these two equations, and by solving the two equations, we obtain VA and VB, which are the node voltages. Example 3. Use nodal analysis to determine the value of the current I in the circuit shown. This is the current I. First of all, we need to define the reference node, which is this one. This node is node 1, and this node is node 2. Now we need to apply KCL in node 1 and node 2 to write the equations. So 6 is entering the node. We are going to call node 1 as V1 and node 2 as V2. So V1 minus V2 over 4 is leaving the node. So we are going to write it on the right side of the equation. The current I is also leaving the node. So we write V1 over 8 on the right side of the equation. The current 3i is also leaving the node, v1, so we write it in the right side of the equation as well. We have three unknowns now, v1, v2, and i. So we can replace i with v1 over 8 because the current i is equivalent to v1 minus 0 over 8. And by replacing i here with this value, we obtain this equation, or simply this equation. Now we are going to apply KCL to node 2, and again v1 minus v2 over 4 is entering the node, this current is entering the node, so we put it in the left side of the equation. 3i is also entering the node, v2, so we put it in the left side of the equation. The current v2 over 6 is leaving the node, so we put it in the right side of the equation. We can rearrange the equation to get this simple equation. So we have two equations, this one and this one, and by solving them, we obtain v1, and since we have v1, we can find i, which is v1 over 8. And the result is 2 amperes.
Example 4. Find the branch currents in the circuit shown using nodal analysis. First of all, we have the reference node. And we have node A, we're going to call it VA. And the node B, we're going to call it VB. So we just need to apply KCL to node A and node B. Six minus VA over six. This is entering the node A. Minus VA over three. This is leaving the node, so minus VA over three. Minus VA minus VB plus 5, all divided by R2, which is 2, is equal to 0. We can simplify the equation to get equation 1. Notice that all resistor values are in ohms. Now let's apply KCL to node B, and we get this equation. Again, VA minus VB plus 5, all divided by 2, is entering the node VB. So the sign is a plus. 10 minus VB over 4 is also entering the node from this direction. So 10 minus VB over 4. This current I5 is leaving the node. So VB over 4, the sign is minus, is equal to 0. By simplifying the equation, we get this formula, which is equation 2. And by solving these two equations, 1 and 2, we get VA and VB. And from VA and VB, we can get all the other currents. I1 is 6 minus VA over 6. It's already here. 6 minus VA over 6 is I1. I2 is this current. VA minus VB plus 5 over 2. We can see it here. This is I2. This is I3, which is 10 minus VB over 4. So since we have VB, we can find I3, which is here. 10 minus VB over 4. This is I3. I4 is this one. VA over 3. And we can find it here in this equation. So VA over 3 is I4, which is this one. Thank you very much.